Well, hello friends, I'm Jennifer Allwood. I teach women how to use social media to build their business without forsaking their family, their faith, their time, all of the things. And I wanna to talk to you today about the new thing that perhaps you've seen on Instagram, which is called Reels. And um, I wanna talk to you about how they work, how you can perhaps use them in your business and my personal thoughts on them, which I have some really strong opinions. So there's that. Um, first of all, though, if you don't already subscribe to my YouTube channel, which you do it while you're here, just hit the subscribe button. Um, we put out a new video every week to two weeks, and I'd love for you to get a notification of those. So, okay. So if you've been on Instagram in the last 10 minutes, you've probably seen this new thing called Reels. And you probably thought to yourself, what is this? Because it's like TikTok has showed up in my feed. And there you have it. TikTok has basically showed up in your feed. So here is what Reels is. So it's a three to 15 second video set to music or a voiceover on your feed of Instagram. And I want you to remember that I've done Instagram trainings before and there's lots going on with Instagram right now. We have the feed, which is the business in the front. And then we have the stories, which is the party in the back. We compare this to the Instagram mullet. And now we've got the reels, which is just, you know, in my opinion, chaos. Uh, let's just be real honest. But you can create or share the reels um, on your Instagram stories or a real feed, just like IGTV has its own feed. So right now, if you go to your own business Instagram account, um, you will see that you have, I'm going to mine. There are four different things now. There's the grid, which is the first thing. There is the reels, second thing over. And then you have IGTV. Um, and then you have people who are mentioning you. So there's all of that. So I want you to know that Instagram is giving a lot of attention to reels right now, which means they're going to give a lot of favor to it, a lot of precedence to it, a lot of, um, People who are doing the reels, they're probably going to give just a lot of love to your account. So that's a good thing, right? Uh, anytime there's something new, a new feature, basically, they're going to kind of twist your arm into using it um, simply by giving a lot of favor to those people who are. So um, I do know that you can also, like, if you're on TikTok, well, let's just talk about this, okay? Let's just talk about this first. All right. I don't love reels. I'm going to tell you why. I feel it's just TikTok for Instagram and I wish Instagram would stay in their lane. I'm sorry, um, all you, all you reels lovers, but if, if I wanted to go watch TikTok, I'd go over to the TikTok. You don't stop. And I'd watch it there. When I come to Instagram, I'm not looking for music videos. I'm just not call me the odd man out, but I don't love it. And, and here's the thing that you need to understand about Instagram. So Instagram's parent company is Facebook. Okay. So think of them almost like, uh, kissing cousins, if you want, that just makes it easier. And, and what I've noticed and what I teach all of my coaching clients is that you have to think of Facebook, who's the social media giant, it's much bigger than Instagram, that it's a jealous boyfriend, meaning it doesn't want you spending any time on any other platform. So anytime Facebook or Instagram figures out that there's another platform that people are going nuts over, they always try to implement something um, as, a, as a direct competition. Case in point. Remember Craigslist years ago? Everybody went to Craigslist. That was before all the killers and the Dateline NBC things. Um, I jest, but not really. <laughs> um, also, not COVID. <coughs> but that's why Facebook came out with Marketplace, because they knew that so many people were going to Craigslist to buy things. Remember back in the days of Periscope? I was Periscoping before Periscoping was even a thing. So that people were loving Periscope, live video. So that's why Facebook implemented Facebook Lives. Um, Snapchat. Snapchat gets really, really popular. So both Facebook and Instagram say, I know what we'll do. We'll give you filters here too. You don't have to leave for the Snapchat. You can stay right here and get the filters. Well, now Instagram's like TikTok. No, 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 no. You don't need to leave. You don't need to leave and go to TikTok. You can just do it right here with the reel. And, and, and for me, I just, I'm not a TikTok lover. I'm just not. And so when I come to Instagram, I want to see encouraging quotes. I want to see, um, encouraging pictures. I want to see beautiful things. I really don't want to see, um, dancing to short videos. And I know you can do more than that, but 
For me, it's just a hard pass. Okay. That's all I want you to know. But for some of you, you're going to love it. And I want to give you some instructions on how to do it. I think it'll be helpful, etc. I will mention if you do not have music on your Instagram stories yet, you're not going to have music to my knowledge on reels. So a lot of the women that I coach, even with updating, up, updating, updating their app, they still don't have music on their stories. And so if you don't have music there, you're not going to have it on reels. That's their feedback that I've got. So, okay. So how do you do a reel? All right. First of all, make sure that your Instagram is up to date. Go to your app store, update all of your apps. All right. Then you're going to tap on the profile picture, at the bottom of your Instagram, and I'm pulling it up here so that I can just do it with you. All right. You are going to act like you're doing a story with the camera up in the corner, and then you're going to slide right to the word reels. They make it real easy for you. Okay. So um, there's an option that says reels. You're going to swipe it to that. <coughs> If you look at your screen right now, over on the side of the screen, there are four um, different buttons, things that you can push, the top one being music. Um, and if you tap that music thing, Instagram is going to give you a, a bunch of songs that it's already got, some suggestions for you, et cetera. You can also suggest or browse right there for if you don't like their suggestions for a specific mood, for an artist, for a song, that's all really cool. So you're going to you're going to select the part of the song that you want to use for your video, just as if you were putting music on one of your stories, okay? So that's the first button. Second button down is the speed button. So this is kind of funny because you can actually like slow motion something, you could actually fast motion something. So I was thinking about doing another reel just to give it another try and letting like our daughter like run and jump into the pool and doing that in really slow motion or something. I thought that that would be fun. You can go up to five times slower or three times faster, just FYI. The button right under that looks like a smiley face with a little star, and it's the effects. So um, this is how you use a filter with your video, just like you would on your stories. Um, you can use any of the saved effects, or you can scroll to the end to browse some new effects. The last thing over there is a timer. You can obviously tell that that's a clock. So you're going to choose how long you want your video to be. And so once you have selected those stories um, in, all, in your settings, you can hit the record button. So the record button literally is just the round button on the bottom bottom in the middle. Okay. So, um, you can see a three second countdown and it's going to record for whatever duration that you set it to. And then you can zoom in on like this morning, for instance, I was playing with the real function and I was down in my workout room. So I did a zoom in on a piece of equipment that I knew that I needed to be using to work out with, but I was kind of avoiding. And so that is how um, you can use that zoom in by just literally sliding your thumb up, which is the same as if you were using a story. Okay. So to review your first clip, you are going to tap the back arrow to see how your first video looks. So the cool thing about reels, I will give it this is it's like, you record a little thing, then you record a little thing, then you record a little thing, and it sandwiches them all together. So that's kind of cool. There's a lady that I, I follow on Instagram. Um, her Instagram account is called Sassy Jones. She's a, a designer. She does um, clothing and, and jewelry. And so she does a little video of like her without hair and makeup and the cute clothes. And then she does the little video next. She like snaps her fingers. And then it's her with the cute video, <coughs> the cute hair, the cute clothes, all of that. And so it's like a before and after. So this might be fun for those of you who do DIYs. Could be fun for those of you who are decorating a room, um, for those of you who are cooking something from scratch, just trying to kind of think of how you could use that, okay? So um, when you review your first video, you can leave it as it is. You can trim the video or you can delete it if you don't like it. I've done a bunch that I've just absolutely deleted. So just like on your stories, you can also add text. Um, you can choose how long you want that to be on the screen. Um, and you can only edit or delete your latest clip. So make sure you're good with your clip before moving on to the next one. So you're going to repeat that process until you get all your clips that you want to put together. Okay. And remember, it can only be a maximum of 15 seconds, which is a huge downfall, I think, and does make it a little bit different, um, than TikTok. So it, uh, 
Instagram does not save the settings from before. So you're going to have to do it on each of the videos, by the way. So even if you put like some editing, some music or whatever on the first video, you're still going to have to do it on the second. So once you're happy with the video, you're going to tap the right arrow and it's going to take you to the spot where you can add captions. So one of the pro tips I have for you is that if you wanted to, you could use hashtags there and the hashtags would hopefully help get you to be discovered on um, the page where people discover new accounts that they want to follow on Instagram. So that is kind of a cool thing on the explore page. Um, all right, what else? Tap on the cover if you want to change the cover photo and then you can share it to your stories by sliding over to the stories. You could also share it to your feed. Um, and then you're going to be able to find it like I just showed you in that spot on your profile where there's four different things now. So you've got the, the feed and then you're going to have the reels and then you're going to have the IGTVs and then you're going to have the mentions from other people. So, all right. So even though I don't love it, how could you perhaps use the reels for your business. Well, maybe you could share some educational videos, remembering that it has to be so short, 15 seconds isn't much. Um, you can show the behind the scenes of your business or a product. You could do a DIY tutorial, like I said. Um, just remember that it's, you know, a place where you could really show off your personality and have some fun. I'm interested to see how a lot of people are going to use it. I'm going to give you some examples of some Instagrammers to watch who I've seen using them. So Jasmine Saar, I saw this week, did something where she gave everybody every um, piece of equipment you're going to need if you want to start a podcast. Sandy Krakowski, I saw, did a reel where she is um, doing a workout. Um, Hope Writers, which is a group of uh, people that want to write books, Christian writers, they um, had a cute reel this week. The Angie Lee show, uh, she used some filters, <coughs> which were hysterical. If you don't follow Angie Lee, she and herself is hysterical. And, um, and so she did a funny, just to entertain people type of filter with her voice change type of thing. And then that designer I told you about, Sassy Jones, did like a before and after of herself with an outfit. So listen, if you like TikTok, you're probably going to like Reels. If you don't love TikTok, you're probably not going to want to do a Reel, but maybe you just want to enjoy watching other people's Reels. So there's that. Um, again, for me, this is a hard pass. And, and maybe I'll play around with it later and I'll feel like I'm going to love it. But I, in, in my opinion, I think what Instagram is so good at right now so good at is the stories. I don't know about you, but I go to stories way before I go to the feed. And I think that um, the stories are what sets them apart from every other social media. And I wish so much that they would just really focus on the things that they're good at instead of trying to like add more things to the platform, because I think it gets confusing. And, and when you're all things to all people, are you anything to anyone? And so anywho, that's my personal opinion. Take it for what it's worth. If you don't already follow this channel, like I said in the beginning, hit the subscribe button, share this with a friend who's been trying to figure out how the heck do you even do the reels? Um, cause I'm giving you the real deal here and, uh, I'll see you again soon. All right, friends. Bye-bye.